Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John and I have the extreme pleasure of speaking with Dr. Liz Lister about all sorts of topics that help keep our our minds and our bodies uh, in tip-top shape. And Dr. Liz, speaking of minds and bodies, uh, I noticed that our topic was uh, the mind and music uh, yes. today. I, it immediately flashed back to when I was working in Manhattan in a tall office building, and uh, which was common in the day. They would have what I think they called Muzak, which is mm -hmm. a subscriber service. And you'd come into the uh, lobby in the morning and there would be march music playing through the speakers. Everybody would march into the elevators and go upstairs and go to work. When you came down for lunch, they had something more yeah. soothing. And then in the afternoon, they'd had... In other words, the music was psychologically uh, programmed to right. affect your mood, your, your work ethic, if you will. Uh, is that what we're talking about? Because it, it, music does affect our emotions. For sure. Absolutely. It definitely does. That is definitely a part of it. You mentioned the psychology of music. There's no question. And I got interested in this topic when I read a recent article related to music therapy, particularly in people with dementia. Oh, that's interesting. It was very interesting. And we don't have to focus only on that, but because the article touched on all the different areas, music affects at least six different parts of the brain. Really? Yes. Yes. Let's see if I can get through all of them. The auditory, right? The verbal processing, like when you look, when you know the words. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the motor, when you start to bop around and tap your toe, that's definitely yeah. me. Okay. <laughs> For sure. There is the calming, which like you said, your people in that building understood not to do that in the morning, do it later yeah. in the end of the day, but very helpful with agitated patients. Ah. Okay. So we've got this calming effect. We've got the social, right? When you, the social benefits, when you're in a room full of people and they're enjoying the same music that you enjoy. Yes. Very, very therapeutic. Mm. All right. And that's definitely been shown particular. It's been studied and shown in patients with dementia, but you can see anybody can kind of relate, I think, to these topics, uh, the cognitive, okay, memory. And this is where it get really interesting with the patients with memory loss, because they would play a song from their youth. A music therapist would come into a setting like a care setting of patients with memory loss and sing a song from their, let's say their twenties, right. From a few decades ago and people would remember the lyrics. Oh, it was course. just deeper. Yeah. So it really, it accesses memory. And then of course the emotional, the emotional benefits Sure. When you hear something that really pulls something out of you or it inspires you or makes you want to march up to your office, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, so really a lot of different parts of the brain that are being stimulated by music. So it's pretty amazing. Uh, that is, that's a great list because I never thought about all those um, effects that the music can have on us. I, I know as a television producer, I know, choosing music for a commercial or a TV show is paramount importance mm -hmm. uh, yeah. because you put a different piece of music under a scene, you can change the meaning or people's right. understanding of the scene. Right. That's uh, right. But what a great, uh, and great use in therapy uh, for memory, things like that. Maybe, yeah. maybe what we should be doing is writing out a playlist of music that affects different moods before maybe we get to the point where we may have to be treated for Alzheimer's. So you'll know that what my favorite song, my doctor might know, or my spouse yeah. might know, what were the triggering uh, songs for me when yeah. I was younger that would change my... So uh, yeah, I could see where, other than just stock concepts that uh, they may be playing around yeah. with, maybe uh, people will put an inventory together of things that were important to them that might help them later on. Good idea. It's amazing. You know, you're making me think of my grandmother who if, in Argentina who played tango music on the piano mm. until until she didn't have a piano anymore. 
you know, she was, she made it all the way to 91. Wow. And she, that was partly, so there's also, you, you've also reminded me just now, I, I talked about the stimulation of the brain, but there's also, of course, if you get up and you move with the music and you're dancing, yeah. then you're preserving, you're preserving balance. Mm -hmm. If you learn a new dance move, you are, you're stimulating your brain. So that's kind of what I'm hearing with what you're saying, Art. I like yeah. that a lot. Yeah. That's really, I, I love that. I mean, we should all have our own list. I came across a quiz that did lyrics and it was music of the 80s, which is my, my that, that's my jam. Mm. And uh, <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. <clears throat> and it just gave like the first line of the song. And I did pretty good. I did pretty well on the quiz. I was pretty happy. It was fun. That's great. Things that a lot of people would know the opening line, yeah. uh, but it's a lot of fun. The social, the emotional, the cognitive, lots and lots of benefits. So you see yeah. this as, as becoming uh, something that uh, may become a therapy uh, that's going to be used more and more often just because it has demonstrable effects on people, irrespective of their cogn cognitive abilities. Yes, I. Hmm. Uh, that is what I think. Wow. Well, I like the idea of uh, Art's playlist, custom playlist for. I like it too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. That's great. I'm, and Let's John, we have to make up one because your therapy could be done in an elevator. Well, we're going to yeah. take you to Manhattan, put you, and, and you'll have a therapeutic elevator. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dr. Liz, this has been great. This has been great. A whole new perspective on music. Thank you. Absolutely. Health benefits of music. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.